Ending Parkinson's Disease, A Prescription for Action, is a comprehensive book written by Ray Dorsey, M.D., along with Todd Scherer, Michael S. Okun, and Bastian R. Blom. This work provides a detailed analysis of Parkinson's disease, PD, a progressive neurological disorder that affects millions of individuals worldwide. The authors, who are experts in the field, offer an urgent call to action to prevent, advocate for, and treat the condition more effectively. The book begins by painting a picture of Parkinson's disease, a condition first described by James Parkinson in 1817. Despite the passage of two centuries, the disease remains incurable and is increasing in prevalence. The authors point to the rising numbers, showing that the rate of Parkinson's is growing faster than Alzheimer's disease, making PD the fastest-growing neurological disorder. One of the key themes of the book is the identified factors that contribute to the development of Parkinson's. The authors explain that the disease is linked to a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Environmental exposures, particularly to pesticides like paraquat, solvents like trichloroethylene, and heavy metals like manganese, are strongly associated with the increased risk of developing PD. Industrial pollution, as well as head injuries, play a role in the disease's onset and are considered modifiable risk factors that society must address. A striking point the book makes is that Parkinson's can be partially attributed to the man-made pandemic due to these environmental exposures. The authors suggest that PD could be partially prevented by reducing or eliminating exposures to these toxic substances, thereby reducing the number of people who develop the disease. Apart from environmental factors, the book delves into the genetic predispositions that can increase the likelihood of PD. However, genetics alone do not explain the growth in PD cases, reinforcing the importance of environmental factors. In exploring the historical context, the book explains that breakthroughs in understanding and treating PD have been few, highlighting the need for a paradigm shift in research and healthcare approaches. Ending Parkinson's Disease critically analyzes the current landscape of medical research and healthcare systems, pointing out that there are barriers to progress, such as underfunding for PD research, slow drug development, inadequate access to care, and the fragmented state of healthcare systems that are ill-equipped to deal with chronic diseases like Parkinson's. The authors introduce the most commonly used medication, levodopa, which was developed over 50 years ago, and remains the standard of care for PD management. While this medication helps manage symptoms, it does not slow or stop the progression of the disease. The book discusses other treatments such as deep brain stimulation, but it emphasizes the desperate need for therapies that can halt or reverse Parkinson's progression. The text underscores the importance of advocacy and the need for a unified voice to demand better resources and support for Parkinson's research and patient care. It cites the success of the AIDS community as a model for PD advocacy, which transformed AIDS from a fatal disease into a manageable condition. The so-called PACT is outlined, standing for Prevent, Advocate, Care, and Treat. This is the framework the authors propose for action at all levels, from individual to international. To prevent the disease, the authors advocate for eliminating harmful chemicals, promoting healthy lifestyles, and investing in research on prevention. In order to prevent Parkinson's effectively, the book recommends a global ban on Paraquat, one of the most toxic herbicides linked to PD, improved farming practices, reforming chemical regulation policies, and increased surveillance to better understand the distribution and determinants of Parkinson's. Advocacy is a crucial component of the proposed plan with the authors calling for people affected by Parkinson's to unite and push for change. A multifaceted approach is described, involving lobbying for increased funding for PD research, raising awareness, and changing policy to prioritize Parkinson's disease. The authors suggest creating partnerships between patients, families, researchers, and clinicians to build a powerful coalition for change. Care for individuals with Parkinson's is another central tenet of the book. The authors emphasize the need for comprehensive care teams that include various specialists to manage the complex symptoms of PD. Increasing access to care through telemedicine and community health programs is also discussed. Improved training of healthcare professionals, along with the establishment of standardized care guidelines 
is recommended to ensure that patients everywhere receive high-quality care. Finally, treatment advancements are discussed with a sense of urgency. The book points out the necessity for investment in new drug development and other therapeutic approaches, such as gene therapy and neuroprotective strategies. This also calls for rethinking clinical trial designs to speed up the process of finding effective treatments. The authors advocate for patient-centric research, where the needs and input of people with Parkinson's are central to driving research priorities and ensuring that trials are designed with the participants' best interests in mind. In conclusion, Ending Parkinson's Disease, A Prescription for Action, is not just a book outlining the dire state of PD today, but serves as a blueprint for what society can do to combat this growing health crisis. It encourages nationalism, where nations prioritize the health of their citizens by tackling PD head-on. The authors are optimistic that by following the pact and mobilizing a global movement, we can end Parkinson's disease. The call to action is clear. Prevent the disease where possible, advocate for more resources and attention, and improve care and treatment for those affected. The fight against Parkinson's is framed not only as a medical challenge, but as a moral imperative to work towards a world free of this debilitating disease. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.